Welcome to a lesson on scientific notation. Scientific notation is notation often used to express extremely large and extremely small numbers where scientific notation must be in the form of a times 10 raised to the power of m, where the absolute value of a must be greater than or equal to one and less than 10, and m, the exponent on 10, must be an integer. And a is often called the coefficient or significant. Looking at the table below, notice how we have several numbers expressed in scientific notation as well as standard form. To understand scientific notation though, it's important to understand the powers of 10 given here in the table. Where 10 to the fourth is equal to 10,000, 10 to the third is equal to 1,000. Continuing, notice how 10 to the negative one is equal to one-tenth, 10 to the negative two equals one-hundredth and so on. So notice how when the exponent on 10 is positive, we're multiplying by a value greater than one, and when the exponent on 10 is negative, we're multiplying by a value that's less than one. So looking at these first four examples, because we're multiplying by a positive power of 10, notice how in standard form this value is greater than the value of a. Looking at these last four examples, when we're multiplying by a negative power of 10, notice how in standard form the value is less than the value of a. This is important to recognize because we can bring to standard form, we can simply move the decimal point left to right in a to determine the number in standard form. Where if the exponent is positive, we move the decimal point to the right, making the number larger. And when the exponent is negative, we move the decimal point to the left, making the number smaller. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to convert the following numbers in scientific notation to standard form. For a, we have 5.9 times 10 to the fifth. So the important thing to recognize here is because we're multiplying by 10 to the fifth power, this product is going to be larger than 5.9, and therefore starting with 5.9, we'd have to move the decimal point to the right to make this number larger. And because the exponent is five, we move the decimal point to the right five places. So one, two, three, four, five. We fill in the missing digits with zeros. So we have zero, 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 which means in standard form, 5.9 times 10 to the fifth is equal to 590,000. Let's verify this on the calculator. There's a couple of ways of doing this. We can just enter 5.9 times 10 raised to the power of five. Press enter, which does verify our standard form. We can also enter scientific notation. To do this, we enter 5.9, and then we press second comma, which brings up a capital E, and from here, we just enter the exponent of five. And enter again verifying our standard form. For b, we have 8.3 times 10 to the negative seven. Because we're multiplying by a negative power of 10, our product in standard form is going to be less than 8.3. So starting with 8.3, because the exponent is negative seven, we'll now move the decimal point to the left seven places. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fill in the missing digits with zeros. So we have point zero, 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 eight, three. In standard form, we often put a zero in the ones place value. So zero point, and then we have six zeros, eight, three. This is the number in standard form. In example two, we're asked to do the opposite. We're asked to write the given number in standard form in scientific notation. The first step is to determine a, this first number, where the absolute value of a has to be greater than or equal to one and less than 10. So notice how to meet this condition, this point would have to be here, where we'd have 8.14. So in scientific notation, we're going to have 8.14 times 10 raised to some power. Notice how we started with 8,140,000, which is a large number and therefore we're going to have a positive exponent. To determine the exponent, we need to determine how many places we move the decimal point. Well, it started here, and we moved it here, so we moved it one, 
two, three, four, five, six places to the left, and therefore we have an exponent of positive six. An easy way to make sure we have the correct sign on the exponent is, if we start with a large number, we're going to have a positive exponent. If we start with a small number like b, we're going to have a negative exponent. Let's try checking this on the calculator. We have 8.14 times 10 raised to the power of six. That'd be one way to check this, which does verify our work. We could also enter 8.14, second comma, and the exponent of six, and press enter with the same result. This doesn't always work. Sometimes the calculator returns scientific notation, which wouldn't be helpful. And now for b, our first step is to determine where to put the decimal point to form a number that's greater than or equal to one and less than 10. That would be here, 9.1. So that would be a, 9.1 times 10 raised to some power. To determine the exponent, we need to count the number of decimal places from here to where we moved it to. So let's do that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, because we started with a very small number, we know the exponent is going to be negative. It's going to be negative nine. We can try checking this on the calculator, but I doubt it's going to work. Let's go ahead and try it. Let's try 9.1 times 10 raised to the power of negative nine. I think this is too small. It's going to return scientific notation, which it is. So we're not going to be able to check this on the calculator. In example three, we're asked to evaluate the following on your calculator and then write it in standard form. So first we have 850 raised to the sixth. So we have 850 raised to the power of six, enter. Now here, notice how we have this E17 on the right. That means this is in scientific notation. This means 3.771495156 times 10 raised to the power of 17. I also know this is not exact. There are a couple digits missing here due to the capabilities of the calculator. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this down using an approximation symbol. So again, this is what the calculator gave us, which means 3.7714 nine, five, one, five, six times 10 raised to the power of 17. And we're asked to write this in standard form. So because the exponent on 10 is positive 17, we move the decimal point to the right 17 places to find the number in standard form. So starting with 3.7714.9515156, move the decimal point to the right 17 places. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zeros. So this is gonna be approximately three, seven, seven, one, four, nine, five, one, five, six, zero, 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 zero. Let's go ahead and put in our commas here, 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 and here. Now for B, we have 0 0.25 raised to the eighth. Let's go back to the calculator. So 0 0.25 raised to the power of eight, enter. And again, notice how on the far right we have E negative five. So once again, this is scientific notation. Again, this is not exact, this has been rounded. So we'll change the equal sign to an approximation and we'll copy this down. So this is what the calculator gave us. This means times 10 to the negative five. So let's go ahead and write that. And now to find the number in standard form because the exponent is negative five, we know in standard form this product will be smaller. So move the decimal point to the left five places. So starting here, we'd move it one, two, three, four, five. Fill in the zeros. Let's go ahead and rewrite this. We'd have 0 0.00015258789 Okay, I hope you found this helpful.